So today I'm going to show you how to make these loom charm crosses. This one is made with three bands. It's got a nice stiff design to it. This one is made with two bands. It's a little bit flimsier, uh, but still a good design. Nice, make a nice charm. And this one is made with beads. It's made with nine beads and ten bands. And that's the one I'm going to show you how to make today. So first thing is we need our tools. I have a loom. This is a homemade loom. Just two nails and a board. And I have a couple of paper clips I'm going to use. I'm going to use one clip to help me, but I'm not going to seal it with the clip. So what we need first is nine beads. Here's my beads. I'm going to use blue on the inside. And I'm going to use one blue one to seal up all my points. And I'm going to use white on the outside for my cross. Those are already made. I have one here to show you how to do it. So you take your one bead. These are just pony beads that I got at the dollar store. And you thread your band in the middle of the bead so that it's in the middle, like so. That's it. Repeat it nine times. So first thing, I'm going to take my loom here. And I'm going to start with the bottom. So you take your bottom bead and band. And we're going to thread it on here like this. And then it's just very simple weaving. Next one. Like that. Then you take the bottom one over the top, bottom one over the top. And you keep your beads in the middle. That's it. Then move it down and start with the next one. bottom over the top, bottom over the top, like so. That's all we need for the bottom piece. I'm just going to scoot this down my loom here and start on the next side. You want to start with the outside points. So we'll do white first and then the blue. And then you just weave bottom over the top, bottom over the top. I'm going to go ahead and slide that down and load my next one on. Again, you start with the white, the outside piece first. Bottom over the top, bottom over the top. Go ahead and slide that one down. We're ready for our last point. White first. Bottom over the top. Bottom over the top. Okay, we have all four of our points done. Now we're going to use our long paper clip. And what I like to do is take the one band that I'm going to use to weave them all together, load it onto the paper clip loop, and I like to use the hook. It kind of helps hold everything in place so it doesn't fall off the end. Now we're just going to take them off of our loom. Try not to lose your beads. And we're going to take these points, the points off that blue one, and load them onto our paper clip here. like that. Then we'll take the next one, same thing. We should be using all the blue points. There's our two. Let's see if I can do it straight from the loom here. There we go. three. Now all we need is the bottom of our cross. Like 
Okay, now we have all our four points and our band still on the hook here. Now all we have to do is slide them down and over this loop. You can also use a crochet hook for this if you'd rather, or the hook that came with your uh, any of your looms, your rainbow loom, or fun loom. You just keep sliding them down so they work off onto this band, and our hook is here to hold it for us so it doesn't fall off the end. So now we have them all onto this band. All we do is pull, try and get a little loop in there. I stick my hook through there. We're just going to make a slip knot to tie this off. And then we slip our paper clip out. And there, we're all done. There's our cross. You can mess with it to get it to the exact shape you want. All done. If you have any questions you can contact us below in the comments section or you can contact us on any of our pages I'll put them down in the description we've got Facebook Twitter Pinterest or on our website thank you very much